it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do. But at what cost? No more than a $1,000 oh. price range. Look, you're not going to get nothing. It's just material thrown together for that price. Frankie, what do you think? I don't think my opinion, you know what I mean, counts. Yes, She's it does. Boss. You're, like, missing me. I better not have a part Well, you're of missing shirt. me. Like, get me. Concentrate. You're not going to win this battle. I'm not going to win the battle? I'm just paying like for it. it. I don't like it. Where's my husband? Why do I have to keep looking for you? Yeah. You're really oh. starting to kick me off already. Oh, People shit. have to look for you. Weddings are wearing your princess dress. Weddings are a venue decorated to impress. Weddings are avoiding a sticky financial mess. Meet newlyweds Frankie and Ashley. Getting to their wedding day was a times a trek over shaky ground with a budget to match. So let's dig up the past and uncover the events leading up to their big day. My name is Ashley and I'm a 24-year-old manager of a parking facility. When Frankie, who works as a setup coordinator, asked me out four years ago, it didn't take me long to figure out that we were perfectly matched. With the encouragement of my mother and her wallet, we decided to take the plunge. This is the story of how we planned our dream wedding. My wedding day was what I hoped it to be and more. Well, I had so much fun and I mean, I was feeling really good. Well, you may have been feeling good that day, but getting there had more ups and downs than an express elevator with just as many buttons pressed. So let's climb aboard and see what really happened. We were hoping that the, the, wet, the wedding planner would be a referee for us, and uh, she was. She helped us a lot and guided us in the right places. Pointed us in the right direction. Meet Karina Lemke. With her 11 years experience as a wedding planner, was she ready to blow the whistle on this couple's spending while keeping everyone on side? My role as a wedding planner is not just to pull off an amazing day for the couple, but it's often to act as a buffer, a bit of a therapist sometimes for the, uh, for the couple and the family. I'm just uh, wondering about your overall vision for the wedding. If money were no object, forget about the budget for a second. What is your ultimate fantasy for this wedding? What do you want? My ultimate fantasy is a Cinderella-like, um, with an autumn twist, a uh, fairy tale like wedding. The reason why you chose the fall is an anniversary. Is it something special? Um, I actually have a little sweat issue. Okay. So, and I know our church is in air conditioned, so I figured sometime in the autumn, nice and cool. It's not too cold, no snow. Yeah, and we don't want a dripping bride. Exactly. No. That's <laughs> and it's not comfortable. Not pretty, right? No. No. And what about you? Me, I'd like um, to have a nice wedding. Ah. I'll be like a Prince Charming. You know what I mean? Traditional Portuguese. Yeah, we want to definitely incorporate the Portuguese. Yeah. Your side is Portuguese, mm -hmm. and so your family is Portuguese, yep. and your family is not. Right. Is there anything else that's important to you with this wedding? And my daughter, she's mm -hmm. important, you know what I mean? I want her to be a big part of the wedding. How old is your daughter, Frankie? 13. Okay. So, and is she excited? So, yeah, she's very excited. Yeah. She's been planning our wedding longer than we've been even talking about a yeah. wedding. <laughs> And this is your mom? This is my mom, Linda. I've noticed something, and that is you're always looking at your mom. So are you paying for this? Are you, are you, who's, who's paying for the wedding? My mom's mom. paying for the wedding. The whole thing? Yes. How much of a say do you have in this whole thing, then? Well, financially, I have a big say. Yes. Yes, yes. My mother and I have butt heads uh, throughout this whole wedding planning, just because our tastes are so different. Uh, I like the more modern look. My mom's more old-fashioned, traditional. Um, so we have butt heads. So it's a traditional church wedding, and then you're doing the reception at a banquet hall? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've chosen the banquet hall already. Correct. We've got a challenge with centerpieces and what to do with, with centerpieces. We're going to need some help on Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. I'm happy oh, yeah. to help you there. <laughs> so we can go there, we can take a look at the room, we can get a feel for it, and then perhaps that, you know, I can That'd advise you on it. And what's your guest count running at? Uh, we're thinking about 220 people. So basically fall wedding, very magical, autumnal mm -hmm. colors, a lot of chocolate brown, a yeah. lot of orange and rust tones, things like that. Yeah, with just a burst of color, like the flowers and stuff, the bouquets mm -hmm. are just going to be a burst of color. Um, what about the rings? Have you dealt with the rings? The rings. Sorry. Well, we wanted to get my godparents' ring. Mm -hmm. Frank wanted to get his godparents' yeah. ring. They're pretty, like, old, you know, because they got married a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So if we take it to a jeweler and get them all fixed up, like, brand new, I'm trying not to disagree idea. with everything, but Frank has never even seen these rings. 
He has no idea what condition they are in, where they are. All we know is they're in his mother's house. In a closet. In a closet somewhere in the house. You're and something old, though. There's a real symbolism to wearing someone else's. I have expression. something old. Yeah. <laughs> He's older than me. Thanks. That's really cruel. Yeah. It's cruel. Yeah, actually, through this whole thing's been very stressful. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm lucky to have my head still on my shoulders. Let's talk about attire for a second. Do you have your wedding dress picked out? Sorry, I'm not going to really room? talk too much about it. I don't want Frank to know too much about it. And is it Cinderella? -ish? It is Cinderella. It's very Cinderella. -ish. Yeah. And what about Frankie's attire? I want it like, like the Godfather look. You know, all black, pinstripe, white tie, and a hat. Like a whole gangster thing. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. God, I mean, this is our wedding. It's supposed to be. It's elegant. Yeah, it's, it's our wedding, so I think I should go the way I want to go. The only thing I wanted is to go with the suit that I like, and I'm not getting. So there's nothing that I'm gonna get out of this, you know, except marrying her. <laughs> I think I've got a pretty good idea of what we're looking for for the wedding. We're having a fall-themed wedding. Mm -hmm. Basically, Ashley is getting everything she wants. It's Not true. everything. I know, but... You're going to basically be the princess bride, and it's going to be all beautiful. And um, your mom's footing the bill for everything. So it sounds like it's going to be a great party. And I guess I've only got one question to ask. The budget? Have you got one? Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Thank you. Does your mother want to adopt me? So. We don't need to spend it all either. But it's nice to know that it's there. Coming up. Frankie, what do you think? I don't think my opinion, you know what I mean, counts. Yes, She's it boss. does. And it was love at first sight for me. <laughs> <laughs> they always say it has to be love at first sight for one of the parties involved, right? Well, in his case, it was, which, you know, it's nice to know. <laughs> and 44 years later, we're yeah. still together. When it comes to figuring out how much you can spend on your wedding, it's all relative. I've noticed something, and that is you're always looking at your mom. So are you paying for this? Are you, are you, who's, who's paying for the wedding? <gasps> My mom's mom. paying for the wedding. The whole thing? Yes. And at the end of the show, we'll show you what kind of deal Frankie and Ashley managed to secure from the bank of mom. When we did our walkthrough at the, the venue, we really liked it, but a lot of money issues came up. A lot of little things that we would have to add and would really add to our budget came up. OK, well, this isn't too bad. It's nice. I mean, for a banquet hall, some things are really plain. This is OK. Um, what are your keywords for the room, for the look of the room? Extravagant, extravagant. expensive. Expensive looking. Well, when you say expensive, <laughs> I really want people to say, wow. Yeah. Well, I think the hall itself is, is nice so that you don't really need that big wow. I do not want it cheap looking. You could spend thousands of dollars decorating this room if you want to. You can do luxury linens. Um, you can do better chair covers. You can do elevated centerpieces. You can do backdrops. We can bring in square tables. We can put down runners. We can do elaborate florals. Mm, Two fifty, three hundred dollars a table. I think we want to be reason we want to be reasonable, but we people are 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 coming. It's a celebration, and we want to make it look like a celebration. And people are getting dressed up for it. How do we give you all the things that we want and still not? you know, um, do anything horribly damaging horribly. to your bank account. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the actual decor for the room, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of color going on in here, but it's all your colors. That's the good right. news. Then you're going to have to cover the chairs because this will just stand out, and you're going to become painfully aware of how hideous they are. Yeah, I don't really around. like the idea of chair covers. I like it like this because the chairs kind of blend in what, what we're wearing, right? Yeah, but these are basic metal chairs. Yeah. No one would really notice the chairs. Your bride is so going to notice the chairs. I never thought that it would be this expensive. I'm totally shocked of all the prices of just thousands of dollars that are going everywhere, right? Um, I hate chair covers if they're um, Do you? If, yeah, I'm not a big fan of I them, but them. I like beautiful chairs. Yeah. Right. And these are not beautiful chairs. The chairs all blend in, but with a, a formal setting and with with people all dressed up, I don't think that the uh, that these chairs make a very good first impression. I think this would be the so ugh effect when you came in as soon as you saw the chairs. It, it just takes away. It's an eyesore to me. Yeah. At, at least having the, the chair covers, they're going to cost a little bit more, but it, it does give that sense that you're walking into elegance. And stepping into more expenses. Frankie? I don't think my opinion, you know what I mean, counts. Uh, yes, it does. does. <laughs> I'm not here to spend your money. I'm only here to try to help you spend it well. Okay. Um, 
I think it's gonna make a difference to the room. If you don't cover the chairs, people are just gonna think you're cheap. Yeah. And that's the last thing Ashley wants. I'm the one who has the overall say with how the uh, reception looks. My mother, too, she is the one footing the bill for it. Um, so as long as I'm happy, she's happy, and we'll all be happy. I'm willing to pay the money to have my chair covers. Okay. So I we're going to do, do chair do covers. Them, yep. So. <laughs> so right, like I said, she's the boss, right? Our we don't have to go extravagant, but uh, the covers look nice. Yeah, originally, I wanted to use my godparents' ring because it make a, mean a lot to me to to have them on my finger. We went over to my mom's to uh, look for the rings. We had to dig through a closet, take everything out. Oh, Lee, look at all the stuff. Anything? No. Oh, we might have it. We might have it. Nope. Do you have any idea what these rings look like? Ah, the wedding bands. Are they gold? Yeah, look, of course they're gold. They have to be somewhere in here. This is nuts. It's okay. Go, you go through the box. I'll find I'm done. It. You sit down. We're not gonna find them. I already looked in there. Are you ready to stop now? No, I'm not. I gotta find these rings. I'm not gonna argue with you. It takes me all night. I gotta find when these rings. When was the last time you've seen them? What? I haven't. Stop nagging, you know what I mean? I don't even wanna find them. Oh, I gotta find them. You're sure it's not down at the bottom? No, I searched Why anywhere. Why are you gonna be mad if we go and get rid of Yeah, I'm gonna be mad. It's so much better you to go shopping. You just love spending money, eh? This, Frank, all you it's not do that much money, money to get rings. Yeah, $5,000 is not that much money. No, it's, it's not. But it's something from you to me, yeah, and we well, both get to choose them. Like always, you get in your way. I can't find these rings. You win again. Always getting my way. Yeah, you're always getting in your way. Well, Frank, that's what a wedding's you about. It's I mean? about shopping and buying new things uh, well, for each you know, other. I'm and... getting also married, too. I, I would like to have things my way. I don't know where they are. So we're done? I'm not happy with it, but what can you do, right? We wanted our own rings. I No, I wanted my... I know deep down inside you wanted your own ring. You just like to spend money. And so the spending continues. My fiance and I are here to look at uh, wedding bands for a wedding. It's coming with up in. Diamond or without diamond? Uh, with diamonds, definitely. With I really like the colored stone sets, like uh, diamond. Can you show me how much that big one? Yeah. This one is four thousand six hundred fifty-three. Is the regular price? I like expensive things, expensive-looking things. Yeah, it's a little too expensive. We'll go no. a little cheaper. It's, it's expensive. I'm worth it. I know, but it's, Wait till it's your it's turn. expensive. Can we look at more? And the Buto Pez. Well, that's a Topaz set. How much would something like this go for? Something like this one, I'm looking for $8.50. It's not bad. I really like that one. Is it because of the price, Frankie? Mm -hmm. I want to look at some for him. I'm you still like going to think about that one. You yellow gold? Uh, yellow gold. Yellow gold. You want with the diamond, without the diamond? Uh, You're a bling bling kind of guy. You need some <laughs> yeah. stones in there. What about that one? This one? So I like something like this. How much would something like that go for? And this one is 14,618. How much is it? 14,000 or 1,400? 14,618. Wow. That's a little much, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's an expensive one. Kind of sweating because with the wedding and everything, you know, you're spending so much money, right? So I don't think our budget was, uh, it wasn't in our budget. Okay, how about this one? Perfect. I like it. It's like a glove. How much is this one? 9.50. Yeah, I like, really like this one. I like this one too. And they both fit us perfectly. Yeah. Deal. Okay. okay. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. When it came time to buying my dress, my mom set a budget, but then I pushed for the more expensive dress. Yeah, because we're spoiled. Whatever. What style would you like to have? Um, puffy at the bottom. Okay. Something a little sexy at the top, but um, I want like the princess puff at the bottom. Okay. We're we're trying to look in about thousand, no more than a thousand dollar price range. Look, you're not going to get nothing. It's just material thrown together for that price. I think the more money you pay, the nicer of a dress you'll have and the more material, which will give me that puff I want. I so have this one. Get for that amount of money. No, it's cheap. No you want the strapless? Who's choosing the dress here, me or you? I'm just looking. <laughs> How about this one, just? No. Ashley. No. You should just try some of these on, because you're never yeah, going to uh, see what it really looks like on the yeah, rack. Let's... This is a little nicer. And it's over $1,000, Mom, but not much. Yeah, it's not exactly what I wanted, but that one's nice. Yes, that's yeah. beautiful. And this is half the nice train. If you, you want to put this one in. No problem. Let's see if the price was right. I don't like it. It's not What's the wrong with the dress? That looks beautiful. I wanted something tighter in here and then like, poof. 
nice train. This is the $800 one, Mom. You don't buy a dress by the price tag. Well, I don't feel like a princess if that's what I'm supposed to feel like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to, she's getting difficult, yeah. huh? You no, have I don't to like this pretend you're a princess. Hope she had better luck with the next dress. Got oh, some yeah. um, nice details in yes, it. Yes, nice. I think it's too much. All right, where did you too much glitter? S sequence. Carry. How much is this one? This is $9.99. See, that's, see, the two I tried on are cheapies. That's why I'm not... Ashley, you're not going to be wearing a price tag down the aisle. But who has to be happy, me or you? I have to feel good on my wedding day. What there, and now we'll try on one of the dresses I like. I think Mom's paying an even higher price than the dress. Yeah. Well, this one feels bigger. How about this, this one? Oh, like. that's... Is it beautiful? I love this dress. Yeah, this very, is the very cloth. nice. Oh, yeah. I love this one. I don't even want to try on anymore. How much is it? This is 1500 It's still in our price range. It's not in the price range. It feels so good. I don't want to try on anymore. It looks gorgeous on you. You just have to remember that when you talk about 1500, we haven't talked about taxes, and then you got alterations and all of the other little extras, so we're really talking 2000. Please, 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 I love this dress. Come on. It's twice as much as we wanted to spend, so we can't make a habit on the rest of the wedding that uh, um, we're gonna have to just stick to our budget. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You Thank beautiful. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I love this dress. Even though my mom spent a little bit more on the dress, it really turned out well. It looked amazing the day of and um, got lots of compliments on it. Coming up. I'm not going to win this battle. I'm not going to win the battle? I'm who's paying for it. I don't like it. Manny's very budget conscious and, and opposites attract. And so he chose me to balance him out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I balance them really well. <laughs> when piecing together your tailor-made wedding, it can be a challenge to fashion a budget to match your desires. I think the more money you pay, the nicer of a dress you'll have. No more than a $1,000 oh. price range. Look, you're not going to get nothing. It's just material thrown together for that price. And at the end of the show, you'll find out if her mother's hemming and hawing was powerful enough to trim Ashley's spending. I decided to get married in the fall just because the weather is a lot cooler and I tend to become very hot quite often, especially when the pressure's up. So I just didn't want to have my makeup and my hair done on my wedding day and be sweating buckets. So if you take a seat and we'll start on the colors. All right. And uh, experiment and see what you like. Perfect. So how much would something like the day of the wedding cost? For you to come to the store, it's $50. Okay. Ooh, it's hot in here. Are you hot? It's warm, but <laughs> not, not hot. hot with me. I got issues. Sorry, I don't need to mess up your makeup. Oh my god, you do sweat, don't you? I told you. Because if you're gonna be dabbing every few minutes, most probably it'll, your foundation will just rub off. Now, do you recommend anything on the wedding day if I do sweat? Well, have you tried Botox? No. Maybe you wanna go give a go? Maybe talk to someone, a consultant, and see what they have to say? And Botox usually stops the sweating? Yeah. Well, I've heard that it's meant to be pretty good, especially if you sweat a lot. Yeah. That might stop the whole sweating for the wedding day. Talk about freezing your assets. Just try something here. Let's stop it from dripping down. <laughs> that, that's a lot of sweat. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, Botox, here I come. I was sweating so much. It really got me nervous that I would be like that on my wedding day. So that's when I really decided to go to the Botox clinic and have some treatments done. A big use for Botox is for treating areas where you sweat. If I put it where your sweat glands are, the communication to your sweat glands won't work as well and you won't sweat very much. And it can have a, a tremendous effect. Usually we can get, you know, 90% improvement. Oh, great. Okay. Sounds good, I'm good. Okay. Even though it was really expensive, but it really worked for me. And a few days later, it completely stopped sweating and I would highly recommend it and go back. I've been sweat free ever since. I knew Ashley and uh, Linda, they're trying to save some money on the centerpieces. So uh, I love pumpkins, so I thought, uh, you know, I came up with an idea to have uh, pumpkins as centerpieces. Oh, that's a big pumpkin. How are you doing? I'm all right, how are you? I'm pretty okay. Yeah, I'm here to buy some pumpkins. Some pumpkins? Yeah. All right. What size do you want? Uh, yeah, I wanted a pumpkins for like centerpieces for my wedding. I don't know, this is probably too big for... Um, okay, so if you want pumpkins for your centerpieces, what you do is you just take a walk around, find the most ideal ones. You can put them on this cart over here, okay. and then I'll help you out. All right, thank you. No problem. Uh, this is a nice pumpkin. A lot of seeds in it. 
Oh my God, white pumpkins. I didn't even know these existed. Everything's all right? Everything's good. All right. Found some sweet pumpkins. Yeah. All right, comes uh, 1366. Thanks a lot, man. I guess it was time for Frankie to show off his carving skills. You look like a mad scientist, then. It's not working. Man. Stab it in. Cut, cut my finger. Why'd you choose pumpkins? Because I love pumpkins. Yeah, you love pumpkins. And you have a piece of pumpkin. You have a pumpkin. You have a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, Linda's going to love this centerpiece. That looks Great terrible. Time. Oh, terrible. Terrible? Your wife's going to kill you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you, man? It's not bad. You eating the pumpkins? Oh, man, little Eddie. Little Eddie and Freddy. <laughs> Mr. Mini Me. There you go. This could be your centerpiece right here, the yeah. champion. This is whoever wins. What do you call your girl? A pumpkin? Give me a little pumpkin. A little pumpkin. She's going to love this. She's going to love it? Yeah. She's not going to. She's going to kill you, man. She ain't like this, man. Oh, she's, she's not going to like it, it Frank. Yeah. Well, let's find out. Trick or treat. Yeah, Hash, come here, quick. I got something to show you. What is it? Hi. Hi, Johnny. What's that? I like the centerpieces. For Halloween? No, for her wedding. This is a joke, Please. right? <laughs> no. You're joking. No, I'm not. I went through this already once. Help How me. long did this take you? Two, three hours. <laughs> yeah, I put a lot of time into these, and I think they look great. <laughs> those are not going on the table. The pumpkins were pretty bad. I mean, I wouldn't even put those out on my doorstep at Halloween. What do you think, Karina? I'm in shock. <laughs> Oh, they're not happening. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's actually, I'm, I'm quite surprised, and I'm. So you really think, like, for a formal wedding dinner, that you would actually have these on the table? Tell her about yeah, your I idea. Think, I think it looks great. I even put a candle in one of them. <laughs> oh my god! Could you at least think about it? Thought about it. No way. No. No, no pumpkins. Come on. It's out of the question. No way. Oh. Yeah. They were hilarious. Actually, I think my mom put them outside for a while till Halloween passed by. Frank and I weren't on the same page when it came to centerpieces. He obviously wanted pumpkins. I wanted something a little bit more formal and bright and something to fill the room. So we've got three different price points. This is about a $15 range, so it's a little bit smaller, not as showy as what you would get for maybe a $30. So how do you feel about something like this? If this is what you can get for $15, I don't like it. It's, scr it's scrawny looking. Well, as they say, bigger is better. If you want it to go a little bit higher, we have one for 50. And this one can go a little bit higher than I like 50. That one's gorgeous. I like that. And that one's a lot more showier. You have a lot more flowers in this one. But I, I like this one a lot. I like that one, yeah. My only concern with this is that in a room that large and that formal, I think that there might be a bit of a conflict, you know, conflict between sort of contemporary and traditional. I like the $50 one. Of course you do, Ashley. I believe that this picks up all of the color themes. I like it that it's different, and I certainly like it's still within our price range. You're not going to win this battle. I'm not going to win the battle? I'm who's paying for it. I don't like it. <laughs> I have a question for you about this, because I noticed that there are a couple of these calla lilies in here, and that is one of the things that's, that's bumping up the price. Yep. They almost get lost. Now, since they're a pricier flower, if we took them out, because we've got two of them, right? Is yep. that going to knock a little bit of money off? Definitely. Like how much? Close to 10 to 15 bucks. I don't want to change a thing in that centerpiece. I like it just how it is. I, I would leave every flower in there. It looks perfect. Okay, in terms okay. of your overall yeah. cost, there's yeah. a difference of about $500 between going for this look and going for this look. So, you know, when it comes down to the budget, that's the number that you've got to focus on, I guess. Yeah, actually, it's like 500 bucks. Why don't we just go with this one? I want the best for our wedding, so that's what it's all about. Yeah, we, we are getting the best. Prices and everything, I would still choose that one. And that was just the beginning of the decor debate. Okay, so if we just go back here, I'm back into my lair. Oh, so pretty. So these are the gold overlays. This is the least expensive overlay that you can get, and this comes in at about $12 a table. At, at this point in time, every extra cost is an extra cost. That's right. Um, without the overlay, could we mm -hmm. just see, see what, what, it, like? what it would look oh. like with the candles sure. and the arrangement? Nancy, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I can see a white tablecloth anymore. <laughs> it's a big difference, isn't it, it? It is. Or I like the gold personally now. But okay. What do you think? Yeah, huh? but, but bank? What does the bank think? Yes, well, I, I, again, because we, we're going to get the chair covers and these are all the added little extras. Mom, it's my wedding. 
Yes, but who's paying? Could we actually try yep. just unfolding this and just putting the centerpiece on this? And of this course. gives us sort of the color. I really do like the, the look of the overlay. It just, again, it's another added expense. As far as the look of the table goes, though, and the centerpieces? Yeah, why are we looking at this one and not the one yeah, the one that you I originally wanted. liked, yeah. I thought we had made up our minds at this oh, with the... Uh, Frank? You and Frank made up your mind about this one. Well, that's two to one. Should I get the other one? Please. Okay. There we go. See, that looks better. Right? I'm still fine with the one we've chosen. Go it looks very again. plain with the other centerpiece. I like it. It's got the classy look. The well, price was right. that one. Price. I'm Get the table linen. Mom? I don't know that that's the compromise. The beauty of this is very subtle. You're not really going to be able to pick it up from far away. I think you're going to get more impact with the overlay. Could we see the overlay again? There we go. You know what? I almost like the centerpiece now with the overlay on it. I definitely like it with the overlay. So mm. I'll agree to go with the centerpiece if we can get the overlay. And again, how much the overlay was? I, uh, you're looking at about $12 for the overlays. That's the wholesale price. Now, would there be tax on top of that yes. as well? Yes. I See, wonder. Ashley, everything adds up. <laughs> well, I'll agree to do your centerpiece if we can get the overlay. Oh, um, <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's go with the overlay. But bank's closed. OK. Bank's closed. I agree. If we go with this, bank's closed. Coming up. I better not have a mark well, on my shirt. You're missing me. Like, get me. Concentrate. Well, the night before, there were a, a few bottles were opened, and my best man was so hungover the next morning, he had to go to sleep and lay down. So I was on my own. I had to get my tuxedo on my own. I had to end up driving to the church on my own. Um, I was a little late. When sowing the seeds for your perfect day, it's tempting to let your wishes lead you down the garden path. This is about a $15 range, so it's a little bit smaller. This is what you can get for $15. I don't like it. I like the $50 one. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on whether or not Ashley and Frankie's financial commitments outgrew their budget. Doing the bridal registry, especially at a large department store, um, it wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. Um, I had the big kid here running around the store, so I had no help from him. And then his kid running around the store scanning everything. So it was a bigger project than I anticipated. This is the gift registry right here. Okay. It's simple. You're, you're creating a new registry, right? Right. So click on creating a new registry. Wedding. Wedding. Not a baby yet. So once we get all this, everything we scan automatically goes onto the list? It goes onto the list. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Can I have that? You can't go and scan everything. Okay. Let the shopping begin. We have to scan stuff for the apartment. We don't have much time. OK. OK, Desi? OK. I love this plastic stuff. Frank? Oh. Seriously? Okay. Hangers. Little stuff, but it counts. Okay. Get it? Yeah. How about air fresheners? No, that's too little. Oh. Nothing's too little for scanner happy Desi. Desi, what about a humidifier? Do yeah, we really need it? Yeah. You got it? I'm bored. Let's hurry up. Yeah. Perfect. We don't need that. No. Desi, go for it. We don't pass. need it. Desi, don't scan. Did you just scan that? Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Not, how am I supposed to get it off now? Scan the things I say. Okay, Frank. If she's scanning everything. Have fun. Let her scan Frank, this is not yeah, time for fun. We toasters, Desi. We need toasters. Which one do you like? I like stainless steel. You like stainless steel, Ben? This is for our house. I'd appreciate okay, your opinion. Okay, whatever too. you like. Whatever I'll, I like. This is good whatever too. you like. You know that doesn't make me feel better. I'm tired of doing all this stuff by myself. Jin, I'm here, it's like, I? yeah, but you don't put your say in anything. I'll be right back. <sighs> your father, Desi. I don't know. Can you scan this for me? I don't know. I These are cute. Desi, where are you? Coming. I told you to be with me. Frank. Oh, I'm sorry. I was playing with the game. This is serious crap. Yeah, well. You guys are like having two two year olds. Come on. Scan this one, too. Yeah, you know what, you guys? I'm sick of it. Scan Let's go. It. We're out of here. I'm sick of it. I don't even want to see what my registry looks like. The registry experience was totally frustrating. Uh, Frankie and Desi drove me absolutely nuts. Um, I got a crap load of nonsense on my registry, so I, I, it was just very frustrating for me, and it wasn't a fun experience. Um, there was a lot of that I had to go back and change. As part of my beauty regimen, I decided to try and cut costs by doing my own self-tanner at home. Um, didn't quite turn out how I expected it to. Frank! 
What do you want? I brought the spray on tan thing, but I don't know how it works. So what do you what do you want me to do? Help me? Help you do what? Just relax, it'll take two minutes. Do you want a white bread or you want a nice tan bread? Why isn't it working? Oh, we have to turn it on. <laughs> Whoa! Right in my mouth! Okay, it's not deodorant, Frank. Even my neck. Look, Johnny's waiting for me. He's gonna go. Do you want me to look like a penguin? Don't get angry. Great. You're like missing me. Yeah, I better not have a mark on my shirt. Well, you're my missing shirt. me. Like, get me. Concentrate. You know what? You're complaining too much. I gotta go. Just ask yeah. if you ask me for anything. Johnny's on his way. You know, you're cold. Okay, now we wait. Better hope Frankie's home by midnight, or else Ashley might turn into a pumpkin. Ashley. Uh-oh, too late. I'm not gonna open the door, you're gonna freak. And I went and turned myself a friggin' different color. I look like a fruit. Let me in. I got three days before my wedding, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, when in doubt, call your wedding planner. Doesn't everybody? Oh, that Frank. looks so funny. Frank, it's so not a joke. Oh, it's funny. Is this... Man, get out of here then. Is this like paint on or is no, this? No, it's like the spray on. I don't know. I've never it's done not, it before. It's not, it's not a burn though. You're not, you're not sore. No. Did you do this at home or did you yes. go? Did you pay to have Well, actually, you know what? Time? It's Frank's fault. He did this. Well, he helped do it and I think he's the one that screwed it up because I'm all patchy in certain spots. Good thing Frankie loves pumpkins. Okay, so we've got sugar, we've got lemon juice. We're basically gonna make up like a little, little sugar scrub here. It's not funny, Karina. It is, well, it's funny to me. Are you sure this is gonna work? Um, I'm hoping that this is gonna work. Karina came up with some sort of concoction and we rubbed it all over myself and got it all off, thank goodness, but. That was a disaster. That I will never do again, especially before a wedding. I don't thank recommend God. it. After uh, my bachelor party, uh, me and my boys, we all went out to a comedy club and uh, we had a good time. Even though the comic, all he did was pick on me all night. So Frankie, you put your hand up, you're getting married, I understand? Yep. And when do you get married? Next week. Next Saturday. week. It's like you just, you realized it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie, you got an earring in both ears. Yep. Now, did you take your mother's pumps with them and <laughs> the handbag and everything? Or... Everything, everything. Are you dressing up? Are you getting any yeah, things? Yeah, getting new everything. <laughs> new everything? Yeah. Yeah, really, well... <laughs> start with the vocabulary. That may be a good... Uh, you're going on... Uh, you don't want to go on a uh, uh, honeymoon? No, I want to go. I want to go, yeah. But, yeah, but you're not going. We're going just in August. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why in August? Because where I want to go, it's, it's going to be warm in August. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, everything is... Warm in August. <laughs> well, folks, we've had a good time, Frank. You had a good time? Yeah, yeah great time. Okay. That was a pretty good sport. At first, I was, you know, ready to tell him where to go, but then, you know, he was making me laugh, so I forgot about it. And Lucky comic. Yeah. Coming up. Mom, this dress is too long. Well, you know what? We're late. As a guy, you don't really want to get into the wedding details. It's mostly, hey, you know what? Whatever you want within these parameters, I'm fine with it. So Jay kind of took charge, and I kind of just sat back and let it happen. It's the key to a, a good and harmonious wedding. When adding up expenses for your wedding, it can suddenly register that you don't know where the money's gone. You know what, you guys? Don't scan. Did you just scan that? Yeah. I'm sick of it. I don't even want to see what my registry looks like. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on how much Ashley and Frankie spent to create the day they'd envisioned. The morning of the wedding, I actually woke up and it just felt like any other day until I was actually rushed from the hair salon by Karina. Um, just, I didn't realize we were off schedule a little bit, so she gave me a phone call and that kind of put my stress level up a little bit. Is Alex getting her makeup done? Yeah. Can you run up and tell him we're late? Like, we have to be out of here in 10 minutes. Like, we're late. Just tell him we're late. My wedding planner's flipping. Nobody here to help me. I have seven bridesmaids and no help. Please help me hold it. Everybody's yeah. going to the Alex, I have just started her makeup. Okay, well, we gotta leave her. How's she gonna get home? I don't know. I gotta get in the cab, I gotta go. Nothing's gonna stop Ashley on her big day. I was nervous, I was feeling good, I was feeling a little hungover from the night before. Just wanted to get it over with. Oh, yeah. come see. Oh, morning, Frank. Bronco. 11. Uh, Frank is being given? Oh, yeah. 
Frank, I'm not drinking tea. Okay? Oh, no, I know that. I'm You're not drinking. Frank, I'll put a little. You uh, pretend to drink. You drink vodka. Okay. Yeah, man. Sure, I know. Pack, hey. What? Frank. Yeah. Here's you pretending. No, I don't even want that stuff around here, man. I ain't drinking today. You know, it's a special day. I'm sticking to water. I'm glad he's not drinking today, because then it would be a disaster. And from one sobering experience to another. I just felt like we were really strapped for time after we left the hairdressers. I was so happy. I don't know. Everybody's rushing me. Laugh it off, baby. You know how much money I just paid? I can't laugh. And then it's all coming off now. I hope you're doing it up already. When did you want me to do it up? There, now do it up. Okay. Oh, I'm so ticked if my hair all comes out. I need a drink. Can somebody get me a beer? Is so that too tight? Comment to no, I need it tighter. It needs to be 10 times tighter. I'm so upset. I'm not ready, man. Things are just starting to heat up. It all came out. Look, I'm sweating to shit. It's all coming out. I can feel the sweat dripping down. Man, look at my hair. I'm so upset. I'm so, look, I don't even have. What do you need? Everything. What do you want me to get you? To the kitchen. What do you want me to get you? A, a curling iron? No, your hair looks so pretty. No, no, no. It's, it's all out. It looks so good like Here's that. Yeah, yeah. Don't touch it no more. I have no lipstick. I don't feel good. I feel like so <laughs> Mom, this dress is too long. I'm stepping on the front of it. Well, you know what? We're late. Mom, I can't do this right now. I got makeup all over my veil. You said you were gonna get it off for me. Help me out. Get what? I have makeup all over my veil. Mascara, foundation, everything. You're blind anyway, why am I asking? And just when you thought there wasn't anything left to complain about. I didn't order two limos like that. No. I ordered two of the exact same limos. Everything I'm getting pissed off about. The limo I hate, the flowers I hate. I want you guys to leave. Well, they're going to. Are you gonna close the garage or leave it open? I need you guys holding my dress. Right off the floor. <sighs> my flowers. My flowers, my flowers. Alex! What up? Your hair is ring pillow. Oh my god. It's only 10 hours now. Relax. The ring pillow. In the corner in my bedroom in a bag. And that wasn't the only thing lost. I'm telling you, someone's playing games with me. Where's my speech? That's good. Ask Sandra, man. She went into the room to go take the dresses. Guys got it. That's I'm good. We don't got it. Man. He's telling me he's gonna like, you know. You're on your own now. Things. Speech. Oh yeah. Your speech. You put it on Palabra Frank. No. Oh, I'm gonna put it on my speech. Thank you. Seriously, Justin. Justin. I don't have it. What am I gonna? But 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 but. You know what I mean? Well, after today, everything will be all right. There's just too many problems. Everything. Nervous and stressed out, but other than that, they're gonna make it. That speech! Give my speech, man. No, I have to give me $10. Hey, give my speech, no. man. Right? Oh, my speech, right? Get him, get him, get him. And with that solved, it was time to motor. Okay, now I'm like literally shaking. Oh, I just ripped my dress. My foot's stuck in it. Is it down? I just stepped in something and ripped it. And you weren't the only one to step in something. Apparently, my dad stepped out of the limo and stepped in a pile of dog crap. <laughs> apparently, he tried to wash it off with Karina. I, apparently, but that's why they pay me the big bucks. I didn't know this was happening until we walked down the aisle, and I kept telling him, "What's that smell?" Man, I'm so nervous right now. I can't even sit down. I'm so jumpy. It's not even my wedding. I'm sweating like crazy. All you gotta remember is take out that gum. You don't want that falling in I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna kiss her. I'll throw it out before. <laughs> to do it. And Frankie wasn't the only one in the same sticky situation. That's gross. Sounds better to talk. I was very happy when I seen Ashley walking down the aisle. She was making me very emotional. I was uh, sucking back tears. But I was strong. I didn't really want to cry in front of all those people. I wasn't nervous at all. I just wanted to go and get it over with and get the party started. Ashley, in the presence of God, and before our families and friends, I take you to be my wife, as long as we, we shall both... Sorry. As long as we both shall live. As long as we shall both live. Hey, can I give you this ring? It's a sign of my love and commitment to you. <laughs> Coming up. Where's my husband? Why do I have to keep looking for you? It's like babysitting. I lift her up. 
and I go to push the door, and like I'm carrying her into the room. We walk into the room, and it's filthy. It's somebody else's room. It was just like not they gave made us up. The wrong so we go all the way back downstairs. So the moment's getting lost here. Uh, so we go all the way back down the front desk, and they apologize, and they take us up to our new room. And I said to the guy, I carried her last time. You carried her this time. When it comes to weddings, sometimes emotions can run as high as your expenditures. I'm so upset. I'm so, look, I don't even have. What do you need? Everything. After all, it's I do, but at what cost? No matter the budget, is it ever enough? Soon, we'll disclose how much it cost Ashley's mother to give Frankie and Ashley the day they had dreamt of. When it came to this actual wedding, the way that things unfolded today, some of the elements worked beautifully and others, um, you know, failed miserably. Um, timing was a bit of an issue. We had a program and yet no one seemed to stick to it. Where's Alex? Where's my mother? Dad? Where's mom? Pardon? You're holding us up. I'm ready. Now, Ash, you're a little bit behind as far as time goes. So what I would suggest, because everyone will basically steal your time because they'll all want to congratulate you here and that's what the receiving line's for, jump in the limo and let's get your mom, so let's get everybody in this room, then you can have a cigarette. Okay, okay, cool. Can somebody come to back with me? Yeah, there's a little bit of canine excrement um, along the path to the limo. Do be careful. Okay, so you okay. get in the car and pull it around here? Uh, yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And speaking of do... I've got pollen on me and I also stepped in dog shit. No! Yes? I'll see if maybe the father or the bride wants to clean my shoe. And from interesting exits to grand entrances, the reception swung into high gear. I walked in the reception, everything looked great, the room. When the food and the service was excellent. Yeah, we were pretty happy with it. Yep. And everything was running smoothly until Karina hit a roadblock. This whole schedule's now been reshuffled. I'm not exactly sure what I've agreed to. I'm not <laughs> sure either. You know, you asked me at the beginning if, if things were what you should do and what I should do. We yeah. probably should have had this discussion beforehand because what I don't want is to upset the mother of the bride, yeah. and that's what's been done. But also, Chris is trying to also be preparing this room and that room yeah. so that they do that. speeches, they do the speeches, you don't have music when they're talking. Yes. And we can't control that either. Okay. They're both on quiet time now, it's a perfect time. She, she wants to do the speeches now? You want to do the well, speeches no, now? Do speeches between courses. And then cutting of the cake, or is now cutting of the cake going somewhere else? Uh, there's no You're trying to keep it real simple. I would suggest you stick to the plan that was arranged. The only thing I'm going to say is she gets very frazzled very, very easily, which is why please come to me first. Yeah. And if we have to sort it out between the two of us, I'm really happy to do that. Yes. Well, no, no, but that's what I'm trying to suggest. It. But you talked to me over there, yeah. and then you went to talk to her. Well, I have to. Okay, but talk to me. Tell me you're music going. music and speeches. Yeah, that's fine. You won't hear her speech. I know, but when I told you the yeah. plan. But you were determined not to change it. That's right, because we had arranged this, and that's what you wanted me to do. Yeah. So now you've but confused her, and you've made me look like an idiot because you made me look no, like no, I don't know my job. Music starts. We have a quiet period now, so we're coming and saying this is your window of opportunity. If that's the case, then that's fine. I am so frustrated because we've got a coordinator. We've always got an on-site coordinator who, is, who does work with the hall. She came over. She asked me the game plan. She has asked me the game plan several times. She has told me she will be unobtrusive, that we will stick to the plan. I gave her the plan and then she went behind my back to the mother of the bride who she totally upset and the mother of the bride and I and Ashley have come up with a schedule that works for the evening. The only problem was our bride was having a hard time keeping track of her groom. Where's my husband? Why do I have to keep looking for you? Like sh men. I have to keep coming back. Oh, here, man. Hey, what do you We're want to do? We're waiting to start for you. Okay. You it's like babysitting. Hi, could I? To the table, we have to go, we okay. have to sit down. Yeah. You're really starting to take me off already. Oh, I have to look for you. No, baby, I'm saying hello People to everybody. I don't care. With the evening back on track, the guests were able to enjoy a night to remember. We're really happy it's all over. Um, we had a great time planning it. It's been a little, it's been a rough ride towards the end, but um, we've had a great time planning it. And we're married now, so we had a great time and we're happy it's come to an end. Well, the wedding may have come to an end, but now it's time to pay the bill. The original budget that we had in Karina was $40,000. My sweat treatment turned out a whole lot better than my home tanning system. 
my beauty regimen cost $400. I never found those old rings, but the new rings cost $1,500. My dress turned out amazing. For the dress and accessories, it cost $2,400. Karina did an amazing job, and her fee was $2,000. The decor at the reception looked amazing. It really made an impact. For flowers, centerpieces, and table linens, it cost us a total of $3,000. The venue was great. With the food and the booze, everything came up to $22,000. The additional costs, which include the photographer, DJ, and transportation, cost us a total of $11,724. But what we actually spent was $43,104. We're over by $3,104. Holy. Sorry, Mom, but it was a good wedding. <laughs> the seafood is served, the cake is cut, and the corks have been popped. The only question left is, who may now kiss the bride? I have no one to kiss. Where's my husband? What up? I think stress brings out the worst in people sometimes, and if we can make it through that, we can keep going. We knew it was true love because, you know, I threw up on him, and he still married me. <laughs> ah, that's gonna leave a mark.